The topic of this video is my new Volta strategy. Everything said here is my personal opinion. Nothing said here is professional advice. All right, I've had a few days now to think about the leadership change news and how it was announced. And I, long story short, I think that when the company co-founders, CEO and president resign effective immediately, I think that's bad news. I interpret that as they rage quit. My biggest concern here is that something that's happening at the very highest level of the company is going to, of course, have a ripple effect to the rest of the company. And I have reason to believe that the employees that work at Volta are very dedicated. And I hope that this doesn't shake up morale for them within the company. I think that would be a bigger concern because really whatever plans that Volta has, whatever plans Scott Mercer put into place, those are probably not going to change for the next six months or a year. Those are already in the works. Okay. They're not just going to make a full stop, cancel all their plans, and then go in a completely different direction. So I hope that the employees over there are going to stick around. I hope that they don't have a brain drain and that, um, I sincerely hope that also Scott Mercer and Chris Wendell have a Steve Jobs like return to the company one day. My voltage strategy going forward, it, long story short, I'm buying the dip. Uh, the past few days, I've been shopping for shares. Uh, the stock is near all time lows. The lowest that it's gotten in the past year is like $2.99, and it is really close to that. I think as of closing on Friday, it's like $3.20 or so. Uh, I had initially bought at around $7 a share, so of course I'm happy to go shopping at $3 a share. I think that they're, in my opinion, this stock is going to go up. It really only can go up, Okay. I use Volta charging stations on a weekly basis, and I'm still enthusiastic about them. And in, in terms of content on this channel, I still have a lot of Volta content in the pipeline. That's not going to, this leadership change, this announcement is not going to change that. I think that Volta is a, um, is a fantastic company, and they have a fantastic product and service. Uh, personally, with me, my current stock allocation with Volta <clears throat> is less than 1% of my entire portfolio, so I'm comfortable adding more. The opposite of that is Tesla. Tesla makes up 40% of my portfolio, and I still think that they could become the number one company in the world, but when Tesla has a good day, my portfolio has a great day. When Tesla has a bad day, you know, my portfolio is just tanking. Um... So for Volta, I'm happy to add more because I don't think it's going to fluctuate my portfolio so much. <clears throat> right now, my average buy-in price is around $5. I was initially buying in around $7. i am scooping up more around 3 so I'm averaging out somewhere in the middle. As an investor, the worst-case scenario is that the stock falls to zero. It's like an Enron kind of situation. Stock falls to zero. I don't think that's going to happen here. I think that, um, truth be told, Volta is probably an attractive acquisition target for someone like Google. But, you know, none of us can control Google and whatever happened, no one knows what's going to happen in the future. Um, the risk to reward ratio is palpable for me. Okay, so I'm happy to scoop up more shares at $3. It's not going to um, destroy me if it if it goes to zero. And lastly, as a side note, my investment strategy is to buy into companies that I use or that I want to use, okay? So I'll buy into companies such as Tesla, Apple, and Costco, or I will buy into Lucid, which is a company that I want to use. So here I have the chart for Volta. Okay, and I've got four squiggly lines here. I got Volta, Charge Point, 
Blink and EV Go, okay? You can see how far down Volta is right here, the dark blue one, okay? And over the past one year, you can see how these companies have performed on the stock market. Volta is down nearly 70%. And to me, this just simply does not make sense. And I'm speaking not as a financial analyst or anything like that. I'm speaking as a customer, okay? I use Volta on a weekly basis. I use uh, ChargePoint on a bi-weekly basis, so about once every two weeks. I've used Blink once in my entire life, and I've never used EVgo. And for how often I use Volta and how happy Volta makes me, I simply do not understand these charts. I don't understand this drop down. I've done some really light research and it looks like Volta has the least amount of charging stations compared to ChargePoint, Blink, and EVgo, but they also approach the market in a very different way. This stock price of $3.21, as of right now, it does not make sense to me. I think they're beaten up on bad news. Okay, so that's just about going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please consider hitting like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.